Okay. Okay, for those who are new, I am Teacher Lukman. Huh? Teacher Lukman, or you can call me Mr. Lukman. Alright, I will be your permanent teacher from now on. Okay, so last week, if you remember, we learned uh, these five organ systems, right? Okay, there are, there's the skeletal system, there's the respiratory system, muscular system, circulatory system, and digestive system. So by now, you should know what are the main functions Okay, for each of the system. Okay, let's uh, have a quick uh, reminder. Uh. Okay, so first, a uh, quick refresher, sorry. Okay, so let's look at the first one, skeletal system. Does anyone remember not? What is the main function for skeletal system? So like what some of your friends say, skeletal system is to protect the important organs, okay, <clears throat> and to shape your body. Okay, next one, respiratory system. Respiratory system. So what is the main function for our respiratory system? So I think most of you got it. It's about the exchange of gases, right? Helps you to breathe. That is correct. So that is uh, the main function for respiratory system. Okay, next one. Your muscular system. Muscular system. What is the main function of muscular system? Ah, the muscular system. Yes, muscular system. So I just now saw... Uh, most of you know what's the answer, right? It helps you to move, okay, your body. And usually it will work with the skeletal system, right? For movement of your body parts. Okay, and the next one, circulatory system. Circulatory system. Okay, so actually there are... There's a main function, right, for circulatory system is to, to carry your digested food, uh, the gases, you know, oxygen to other parts of the body and from the other parts of the body back uh, <clears throat> to, let's say, the heart to remove the carbon dioxide, okay, and to remove waste materials and so on, okay? So that's the main function of circulatory system. And the last one, the main one that you will learn by next week onwards, digestive system, okay? So it's to break down food into simpler substances, okay, so that your uh, body or your blood is able to absorb the digested food and also to remove any undigested food, okay, uh, in the large intestine and so on. Okay, so we will learn in more detail about digestive system uh, next week or next week onwards. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Uh -huh, I know all of you are waiting for this, right? The bubble question, okay, the bubble question, huh? all right. Okay, I'll show you the question for about maybe 10 seconds. Okay, the first few is still quite easy. Okay, then after that, um, <clears throat> I will start the timer. Okay, all right. Okay, let's see. Uh, for the first bubble question of the day. Quite simple. Okay, I'll give you five seconds to read first. Five, four, three, two, one okay i'll start the timer right now all right let's see the results okay not bad so quite majority of you got it correct okay maybe about 80 percent of that okay so well done but let's look at the question together first okay so it says here for the four items below which one are systems okay so first take note of what it is ask, asking for huh? so the question is asking for system okay so remember system are made systems are made up of parts right okay so if you look at a a is just a ball of uh thread correct okay where you know your mother or your grandmother uh used to sew things okay or maybe your cat plays with it Okay, but it's a ball of thread, a ball of yarn, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> therefore it's just made up of one part, which is the yarn itself or the thread itself. So therefore it is not a system. Okay, so that's good. And X there, bad. Okay, and then for B, it's a light bulb. Light bulb are made up of many parts, right? There's the glass cover, there's the filament, there's the metal tip, and so on. Okay, so. This one, definitely a system. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, next one. An organism. Who can tell me what's the name of this organism over here? Or C. Some of you say centipede is not a, this is actually a millipede. Okay, but anyway, whatever it is, it's a living organism, right? So all living organisms are actually systems. 
So therefore, it is incorrect. And the last one, that's a eraser. Okay, nothing else. That's a simple, simple eraser. It's just made up of uh, rubber, right? And that's it. So therefore, <clears throat> this is not a system. It's just, you know, that's one part. Okay, so that wrong. And therefore, the answer is B and C only. Those who get correct, well done. All right, next bubble question. Are you ready? So let's see. Uh. So again, I'll show the question for a few seconds first. And then I'll start the timer. Okay. Read carefully first. I'll give you about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Yes, one minute to answer this. Huh? 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'll start the timer now. One minute, go. Oh, wow. This is more than just now. Huh? So well done. This is about 90% of you got it correct. Okay. So it says here, uh, which of the body systems is absent in the jellyfish? Okay, so we always need to highlight the keywords first. Huh? Okay, so first part uh, of the question say the jellyfish is soft and has no fixed body shape. Okay, take note, it's important. And then they say, they ask you which of the body system is absent. Absent means not inside the jellyfish. Okay, causing it to be soft and not to have body shape. Okay, this way it gets tricky for some people, right? Say, see some of you say here, yeah. okay, they will think that, oh, mm, soft, maybe not have the muscles, right? Okay, but no, okay, because it says here, soft and don't have a fixed body shape, okay? So that is why this is actually the skeletal system. So those who get it correct, well done. Okay, remember because the skeletal system gives the body its shape, including ours also. Remember last week I went through with you already. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. One more already. Again, read carefully. It might look the same like the previous one, huh? but no, huh? it's a continuation. It's a continuation. All right. Okay, I'll start the timer in five. Four, three, two, one. I'll start the timer now. Let's see the results. Hmm. Okay, so about the same percentage as the question two. Okay, so remember for skeletal question, uh, skeletal, skeletal system, right? So the main function is give the body its shape and protect the important organs, right? You should know this. Okay, but just to go through uh, the functions uh, given here, uh, let's see if any of you know or not. For the first function, it mentions absorb food into the blood. Who can tell me what system is that? Absorb food into the blood. The first option here is actually digestive system, not the circulatory because it's absorption of food, absorb only, haven't distributed around the body yet. Okay, absorption only. The second one, system, okay, so this is obviously skeletal, right? So that's why the answer was number two. Okay, number three, this one a bit tricky. Who knows, option three. The system removes waste material from the body. Remove waste material from the body. Ah, see, some of you got confused already. So it's not digestive, but it is actually circulatory system, okay? Because the circulatory system, the blood, which is... Uh, going to all parts of the body, right? Okay, we'll remove the waste materials from the other parts of the body. Okay, all right, and the last one, option four, the system allow exchange of gases. This one quite easy. Yeah, okay, so all of you know, huh? so this is respiratory. All right, so I hope these three questions help you to re refresh your memories on the five body systems. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so, Firstly, the syllabus. Uh, so you must know uh, what are the important things that you must learn for the particular topic. So you can, like I mentioned before, I think the first in my first lesson with you guys, uh, okay, is you can look at the MOE website and search for your science, your primary science syllabus. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. So first point, we've already did this uh, last week, right? If you remember, so identify the organ system and state their functions. All right, so we did this last week and we just revised it. Okay, 
Uh, and then uh, the digestive system will be next week. So this one not yet. All right. So the, the third point. But the in between, there's a note there. They say the learning outcome of the students to an overview of organ system, detailed knowledge of the muscular and skeletal systems, uh, such as the names of the bones, okay, the muscles, and description of how they work. Okay, that's one is not required. Okay. And then another important thing is you see here. I just circle on the right side, show curiosity. So you must be able to be curious, uh, ask teachers, ask me, okay, if uh, you're not sure about their body systems uh, in your body, okay, their structures and their functions. All right, so like I say, this syllabus over here, you can find it easily in the MOE website. Okay, so for today, what are we learning? So we are learning. Uh, to know that our bodily organ system must work together. Okay, so last week we learned them separately, right? But this week we learned about them uh, working together and then understand why. Okay, why the body systems need to work together. Okay, so I will be showing you some activities in uh, using pictures, uh, okay, below. And then you tell me what are the main body systems working together for that activity. Okay, all right, let's see the first activity. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, familiar picture, right? Okay, remember last week I showed you this picture a boy, uh, maybe either doing yoga or uh, breathing activities, uh, a breathing exercise. Uh, so he's breathing in. So he wants the fresh oxygen to go to his body parts. Okay, yes, meditating. Okay, so. There's actually a few systems, okay, uh, that helps this boy over here to do the breathing exercise. Okay, so who can tell me what are the systems involved? Okay, I'll say respiratory system, okay. So that's one, all right. So let me just write that down first. But there's actually another system also helping this boy. So not only respiratory system, but also circulatory system. All right. So these two systems help uh, the boy to, to have a fresh oxygen gas okay, to go into his body. And then the gas dissolves into the blood, distributes all uh, to all parts of his body. And then once he has done the breathing exercise, will produce carbon dioxide, right? So the carbon dioxide from other parts of the body will go back to the lungs through the blood, okay, through the blood and then will be removed by the lungs through the respiratory system, okay? So these are the two main systems working together when this boy here is doing the breathing exercise or meditating, okay? That's what means he mentioned, yes. Okay, uh, must, some of you mentioned muscular system, huh? Okay, muscular systems, um, not really the main system for this activity, okay? Because um, like I mentioned just now, it's more about the exchange of gases. Okay, we're talking about the gases. So breathe in oxygen, and then all the body parts get the oxygen, and then uh, produce the carbon dioxide, and then remove the carbon dioxide. Okay, so we're talking about these two main systems. Okay, so let me erase this back, and let's look at the second activity. All right, so say goodbye to this meditating boy. Okay. So you meditate off really. Let's look at the second. Oh wow. We have this strong man over here. He's lifting weights. Right? He's lifting weights. Okay. All right. Correct. Okay. So most, most of you are correct. So to be able to lift that up, uh, firstly is the muscular system. Okay, definitely. This muscular system needs to be working very well to be able to uh, <coughs> carry that heavy weight. Okay. And secondly, like what most of you mentioned also is the skeletal system. Because the skeletal system provides support for his body, right? Provides support for his body so that he can also lift it. So it actually works hand in hand, the muscular and the skeletal system, both together. Okay? Yes. Uh, then some of you mentioned circulatory system. Again, that one is not one of the main ones. I mean, yes, it does help. Okay, but it's not the main one when you're carrying a uh, heavy barbell weights. Okay, so you know this this that thing. Okay, it's called a barbell. All right. So those whose uh, parents maybe go to gym, right? 
Okay, then you might know that term. Okay, it's called the model. Okay, here is that, and let's look at the next activity. Okay, so say goodbye to the muscle man. Okay, that's the uh, okay. This one don't really have the person, okay, but this is actually medicine. Okay, so when a sick person takes medicine, right? Okay, so that the his uh, body parts, he, uh, his or she, uh, hers body part can get the medicine, right? Okay, so what are the uh, systems that help this? So yes, all of you are correct. So firstly, when you are just eating the medicine or consuming the medicine, okay, so it's the digestive system first, obviously, right? Because the medicine has to enter through your mouth, okay? So digestive system first. And then to make sure, okay, to make sure the medicine goes to your other parts of the body. Okay, so yes, I want of you mentioned that. You also need the help of the circulatory system. Because after the medicine has been absorbed in the small intestine, okay, absorbed into your blood system, it needs to be distributed, right? Distributed to your other body parts. So that requires your circulatory system. Okay? All right? Okay. So, these are the three activities that I have and to show you the systems that are working together. Okay, so just to recap back, weightlifting requires muscular and skeletal systems, eating medicine, digestive and circulatory system, and lastly, breathing exercise or some of you say meditation, okay, or doing yoga, okay, it's respiratory and circulatory system. Okay, so yes, I know some of you ask, uh, Mr. Man, isn't it like uh, some of the activity requires more than two systems? Yes, it is possible. It is possible to be more than two, but we, we usually see which are the two most important systems working together for that function, okay, to do, to do that particular activity. Okay, any questions so far? No? All right. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so why do these systems need to work together? So you might want to take uh, take down notes. Huh? So firstly, it is to enable our bodies to function properly, right? So make sure your uh, all the body systems are able to function properly. And then if one part of a body system malfunctions, malfunction means it's not working well, huh? not working properly, not working well then the rest of the system actually will not work properly also okay so an example if let's say we focus on the respiratory system okay Respir respiratory system if let's say your lungs are not healthy okay due to uh, some reason okay maybe for smokers uh, for those people uh, for those adults who smoke right okay it will affect their lungs so if their lungs are not working properly so that's where the whole respiratory system is not functioning well, okay? And then if uh, <clears throat> one of the body system malfunction, so if let's say your respiratory system is affected, okay, it's not working well, uh, that's where you will start to feel unwell, okay? At certain parts of the body, you see? At least two kids, <laughs> uh, okay? Right, so, uh, Always take care of your health, okay? Make sure you are, make sure all your body systems are working properly so that they can help you to be healthy. Okay, before the proper question, hold on. So just to recap back, right? so make sure you know that systems need to work together for your body to stay healthy and then to function properly also. Okay, so before we go to the bubble questions. Okay, are you ready or not? For some more of our questions. Okay? All right. Ready? Let's look at the first one. Bubble question. Oh, sorry, not first one. Fourth one, huh? Fourth one. Okay. Very easy. Ready? I will just start the timer right now. Okay. So again, this one just warm up first, huh? This one just warm up first. Okay, we will get to the more difficult ones later. Okay, let's see the results. Wow. This is like 95%. <laughs> Okay, wow, well done, well done. Okay, thank God this is correct because this is like too easy, is it, for all of you? 
Okay, again, let's highlight the keywords first. Right? Which one of the following system is needed to work with the skeletal system in order for a person to move? All right. So remember, I said it's really movement involves skeletal and muscular system, right? So that's why it's not very easy. The answer is number three. Okay, next one. Ready? Okay, read first. I give you about five seconds. Five. This one will be one minute, 30 seconds huh, for you to do. Four, three, two, one. Yes, this is quite difficult. This is quite difficult. So do not panic and quickly select anyhow. Uh. Make sure you read carefully first, read the options properly first, uh, and then you select your answer. Okay, so um, you need to see the errors very carefully. All right, you need to see the errors very carefully. So let's start from system P. Let's highlight first. Uh. System P gives you digested food and pass on to system R. Okay, so system P uh, gives you digested food and pass it on to system R. Let's look at system Q. System Q, on the other hand, pass oxygen to system R, again, to your body. But then from system, system R, it gives back carbon dioxide to system Q. Okay, and then we look at system R. System R gives oxygen and food to all the body parts. Okay, distribute to all the body parts. But then, from the body parts, okay, uh, gives back carbon dioxide to system R. Okay, so firstly, when we talk about digested food, right? Most likely, we are talking about the digestive system for system P. Okay, because you're talking about digested food over here. So therefore, if we look at our options, we have option one and two, but then this two around. Okay, then Q and R. Okay, so which two options did I say is very close just now? Is options one and two, right? Because it's just a switch between Q and R. For option one, it says that Q is circulatory, R is respiratory. But option two says that Q is respiratory and R is circulatory. Okay, so that's where I keep on reminding you just now huh, to read very carefully the options. All right, okay. So for <coughs> system Q, it gives oxygen to system R and then it, it gets back carbon dioxide, right? So it is actually the respiratory system. It is not the circulatory system, but system R is the one that takes in the oxygen and then pass to the other body parts and uh, takes back the carbon dioxide and returns back to system Q. So that is actually the circulatory system and not the respiratory system. So that is why the answer is option two. All right, any questions now? All right, okay, let's move on to the next, next one. Okay, so you see here, a boy is dancing. He is swinging and bending parts of his body. Okay, so read carefully. I give you five seconds before I start the uh, timer, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so one minute to answer this. Let's see who can get this correct. Okay, so firstly, you must know the systems shown uh, in this picture over here. Okay, so we have the skeletal system, right? The first one here. We have the uh, Respiratory system. We have the circulatory. And lastly, we have the muscular system. Right? So you must be able to identify the system from the picture first. Okay, from the picture, you must identify the system. Okay, and then you must see the question. So the question asks for the two body systems working together to enable him to dance. Okay, so the dancing part is uh, in the first sentence, not first sentence, sorry, the first part of the question where it says swinging and bending parts of his body. So that's the clue there, all right? So therefore, uh, <clears throat> as you know, for movement, right? For movement of body, it is the skeletal and the muscular system. So that is A and B. So that's why the answer is number 
skirt. Okay, A and B. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one quite easy. Okay, quite easy. So I'm not going to give you time to uh, read. I'll just start the timer now. Okay, I'll just start the timer now. Okay, so read the question carefully. It says over here, which one of the following system works together with the digestive system to push food? So when you eat food, right, from your mouth to the stomach, okay, will push the food to the stomach. All right? Okay, so firstly, you must uh, remember what's the name of that part that uh, connects from your mouth to your stomach. Remember what's the name of the part? We have mouth, and then it goes to the, okay, to the gullet and to your stomach. Okay, so we are focusing on the gullet here actually. Okay, so for the gullet to push the foot to your, uh, from the mouth to your stomach, you will actually need the muscular system's help. For those who don't know what the gullet is from the, uh, it connects from your mouth to your stomach, okay? So it's where, it's the connection, uh, it's like the sort of the pipe, okay? So from your mouth to your stomach, okay? So you need the help of the muscular system actually to push the foot down. It's Quite a number of you put circulatory system, huh? so it's not. Circulatory system is when the food is already absorbed inside the small intestine. Then the blood will distribute the digested food to other parts. Okay, so take note. Huh? So this is one of the more uh, difficult ones. Okay, let's look at the next one. Ready? Uh, this type, we need to read carefully first. Huh? I'll give you five more seconds to read. Five. For three, two, one. Okay, I'll start the timer now. Don't worry, you have one and a half minutes. Huh? Do not panic and anyhow select the, uh, the, the answer. Huh? Okay, read carefully first. Read the options carefully first. And then you answer it. Okay, you have one and a half minutes. Don't worry. Okay, so firstly, Stanley says that our skeletal and muscular system help us in our movement. Correct, right? Okay, you know that. I've been uh, emphasizing this from just now already. And then CT says, all of our body systems are equally important, okay? Because they work together to carry out body functions in order for us to survive. Correct, right? Makes sense, right? Okay, so they're all equally important because they carry out the body functions for us to survive, okay? So nothing wrong with that. CT is also correct. So, so far, Stanley and CT, correct. Okay, then Navin says that our body can still function <coughs> properly if our respiratory system breaks down because we have the circulatory system to transport oxygen around our body. Okay, so these are two separate functions, huh? Respir respiratory system is for the oxygen to come into your body, but not distributed yet. It just goes to your lungs. And then the circulatory system is the one that transports oxygen all around the body. So these are two actually separate functions. So that is why you need these both systems to work together, okay, for your body to function properly. So unfortunately, Nevin is wrong, okay? So that's why the answer is actually option three, which is, Sally and CP. So those who get it correct, well done. Okay, let's look at the next one. Question nine. Okay, this one is a bit tricky. It looks simple, right? It looks simple, but it's a bit tricky. Huh? So think carefully. Don't just uh, anyhow answer the question. One minute, I'll start the timer now. Okay, so think carefully. Huh? Think carefully. It might look easy. Okay, but you need to read and understand properly. Okay, so time's up. Let's look at the results. Okay, not bad. About 80%. I expect more. Okay, but 80% is okay. Because did I say it looks simple, but it's a bit tricky over here. So that's why I need to highlight the keywords first, which are the following system, ensure that the body receives enough oxygen. So when we talk about body, we talk about all the body parts. 
Okay, all the body parts receive enough oxygen. Okay, so firstly, I know most of you know that I am Mr. Rukman. I know this respiratory system, okay, must have, right? Yes, you're right. Respiratory is the one that takes in the oxygen at the start, okay, from your nose. But then you also need the circulatory system. Huh? Remember, you also need the circulatory system to distribute the oxygen dissolved in your blood huh? to other parts of the body. Correct. Okay, so to pump the blood to other parts of the body. Okay, so that's why the answer is C and D. All right. Okay, let's move on. We have two more questions. Don't worry, we have time. Okay, so again, read carefully. You have one and a half minute. Start now. Okay? Go. Let's see. This one again a bit tricky. Huh? Don't panic. You have one and a half minute. Think first. Think carefully. Read the question. Look out for the keywords. Look at the options carefully. One, two, three, and four. Is it B only or A, B, and D only or B, C, and D only or is it A, B, C, D? Okay? So read the options carefully. Okay, let's see. So, which system in the man's body, all right, involved in helping him to play football as a whole, huh? okay, helping him as a whole to play football, not just the kicking of the ball and so on, is to run around, you know, to, to uh, uh, defend uh, or to attack and so on. Huh? So, you, of course, need your skeletal system to support your body, your muscular system so that, you know, you can run around and kick the ball and so on. You need your circulatory system also, so that the food is distributed around your body and oxygen also, and uh, to remove the waste materials and carbon dioxide. And definitely respiratory system, because you need to breathe in without right while playing uh, soccer. So the answer is actually all of the above, A, B, C, and D. Those who get it correct, well done. Huh? Okay, last one, last one for today. Huh? Okay, so those who can stay, just stay for a while to do this last Question, huh? ready? This one is also difficult. Okay, all right. So, you will have one and a half minutes or so. Like I said, read carefully and look at the options very carefully. Huh? So, imagine that you are playing hide and seek. If your friends, you run around the park and you found a bush to hide. Okay, like in the picture over here. You are panting like, <laughs> because you just finished running, right? As you waited for your friend to find you behind the bush. Okay, so as you can see, you have all five systems there. So, which of the systems involved are involved in this activity with your friends? Okay, let's see who can get this correct or who actually anyhow do this. Okay, we shall see. Okay, let's look at the results. Mm. Mm. Quite bad. Okay, again, about half of you only get it correct. Okay, yes, eventually the keyword is to read carefully. Yeah? So, you run around, you hide at the bush, you're panting, right? Okay, so of course, you will need <coughs> your skeletal system to support you, okay, when you do this activity. Respiratory, <laughs> you're panting, right? So you need to breathe in, breathe out, definitely you need respiratory. Digestive, you're not eating anything, you know, for this activity. Okay, so that's why digestive is not inside, but muscular, definitely, and circulatory also same. Reason as the uh, playing football does not have same reason. So it is not all of the above. I see some of you, in fact, quite a number of you write down all of the above, huh? but it is not. It's actually A, B, D, and E. So it is option two. Okay, that's a good correct. Well done. Okay, let's uh, let's close the lesson for today. So our body systems work together. That's what we've learned, right? And the reason why. Okay, all right, those are this. So uh, leave, you can leave now, so bye.